Hello and welcome to another video for Customizer.life. Chris Taylor will be here and now I'm going to be talking about when you want to print uh, white uh, designs, or white letters, numbers uh, in particular because these can be uh, tricky. Not all designs are suitable for the water slide paper that we use. So for starters, we'll have a look at a couple of designs where uh, we can obviously use our, uh, our paper. So say for instance, you had a logo or uh, you wanted to uh, print some uh, white letters inside uh, a background, which is in this case, obviously that's, this is, we have a, a 22 in white against a red background. Now that's fine because obviously we can print that onto white uh, water slide paper and we can drop the red background in and drop the white uh, numbers on top and we can cut that out and obviously we we can then slide this uh, onto any colored surface light or dark and this would stay the same but a lot of people sometimes say well I, I only want white uh, letters or my design is just all white um, and that can obviously create problems because household printers, inkjet laser printers, they don't carry white ink. It's a specialist uh, process uh, in printing uh, just white. And so people will often say, well, I've done my designs and we've printed them out and all of the areas in white have just turned out clear. And that's because what's happened is the print, your printer has uh, assume that you're printing on a white piece of paper and it's just going to use the white of the paper for any areas of uh, white. And so some designs work great and then other designs obviously take a little bit of more work and then uh, other designs are, are impossible with just our type of paper or printer. But we can work through the three different types of, uh, of help available here. And so, so that's pretty much covered uh, the dropping white numbers or text in onto a, a background. We can do that fine. We can cut it out and we can obviously then slide that onto any colored surface. Another option is of say, for instance, you were putting some uh, white letters and you just really wanted just the white to show against a, a, a dark surface. I mean, this might be say uh, the carriage of a train or, or, or such and you, you wanted to use the water slide papers and you just wanted to sort of get the job done and uh, for it to sort of look, uh, look good enough. Uh, so what, we've, what I've done here is obviously, if you can imagine that is obviously the surface uh, that you're going to be uh, dropping your uh, decal on and I've printed the uh, white uh, symbols and numbers onto the same colored uh, background as the surface that we're going to be dropping onto. So say for instance if this was a British racing green car you would print uh, find the uh, correct color drop that onto your uh, Photoshop program or design program and then just drop the white uh, whatever white symbols or numbers or, or whatever it is that you wanted to print onto uh, the surface and then go through the normal process really, just drop that into some uh, water. And what I'm going to be doing is literally, I'm just going to be sliding this onto the same coloured surface just so that we can just see the, uh, the, what, the, the white that we want to see and not its background. I did have a customer a short time ago say, uh, oh, I've cracked this. I've come up with a solution for white ink. And what he'd done is he'd took one of his inkjet cartridges out of uh, his printer. And say, for instance, I think it was his yellow that he said he would had done and he'd, he'd cleaned the cartridge and refilled it with white ink. And it's not something that I've ever uh, tried to, to duplicate, but he, he said it was working well for him. 
it certainly um, has saved him a lot of money because specialist printers that carry white ink are not cheap. Uh, so it's not something that I would recommend because I've, I've not tried that myself, um, but uh, it's just an interesting uh, conversation. Right, this is going to be about another 15, 20 seconds. So we'll just take that out. And we're just going to slide that straight onto the surface. And then usual process really just to remove. So now we have a white uh, black uh, backdrop against the same coloured surface. So when that dries out and hardens all that we'll see, or should we say all that will be dominant is the white letters that we wanted. And that's obviously one of the ways in which we can get away with using the water slide paper so, so that we just see the white. Another uh, part of the trade is using blue backed water slide paper. So you can see this is, uh, you can see that, uh, obviously this is blue backed. And this is for when you actually can print in white. So that will be obviously if you've got some white a specialist printer or if you're going to take it to a specialist printer and you just want uh, to print only white and this is really just a just the same as like clear uh, water slide deco paper it's just a clear film but the only difference is it has a blue back so when you print your uh, white onto it it's very visible to see for you to cut out I mean that's the only difference because clear uh, inkjet water slide and white inkjet water slide they both have white backing papers. So obviously if you printed it in white, you can't really see it very well to cut out. And so that uh, helps with that. Uh, and then obviously, and obviously I, this is sold to uh, a lot of customers who are specialist printers. Uh, one printer, for instance, is Alps, A-L-P-S, and they carry white ink if you were going to go down that road. Uh, and then obviously another option would be to contact your local printers if you've got a project and you could do a print run. Uh, you could take this paper, uh, blue back decal paper in and get them to do the job for you if you had a lot of one particular design that you wanted to do. So there we have it, that concludes this video on uh, printing just in white. I hope that helped and I'll see you in the next video.